Good morning everybody, Izumi here, and let's do Super Mecha Fist Love Battle S2. So, first up in my team is going to be Infected Sif. And this is what I'm running on her. Next is going to be Rovaria. And in the middle is Mage Commander Grace. Yay, I actually get to use my Skyborne gun that I just 5-starred recently. Um, fourth is Lunar Kaguya. OG Kaguya. And lastly is going to be Luchi Lucy, something like that. I don't know. And that's what I'm using on her. So, here we go. Mecha Fist Sith is in the melee row, is Therian, and is considered to be grounded. Her action skill Fist to the Face does 250% light attack damage to the nearest enemy, plus a bonus 50% damage against Yotun. In this fight, her auto skill does light attack damage and slow for three turns to all heroes in the connect battle. Slow effect applies to Aesir, Yotun, and Beast. Additional effect at S1 and higher. Holy Chain for three turns to all heroes in the connect battle. Again, Holy Chain applies to Aesir, Yotun, and Beast. On S1, there is a Holy Field. On S2, there is a High Holy Field and a Gravity Field. So be careful about those. Um... The most effective element in this fight is going to be water. You really have to get rid of those. On S2 at least, you have to get rid of those fire crystals pretty quickly. And dark damage. So let's talk about the crystals. The force light crystals in the melee row do light attack damage to the nearest three enemies. And on S1 and higher, they do light attack damage to the three farthest enemies. And they give Sif Light Ring for one turn. Well, that's not terrible. Those that, uh, But the Fire Crystals do defense and magic defense. 30% up to Sif and all crystals. And on S2, they do attack and magic attack absorption barrier to Sif and the melee light crystals. So you really need to get rid of those fire crystals on S2 pretty quickly. And also light ring can hurt a little bit. So you probably want to get rid of all the crystals as quickly as possible. As especially the fire crystals when, though, when that absorption barrier is there. Everything that you hit Sif with is just going to heal her. So... Really in your best interest to destroy those as quickly as possible, and that's why water damage in this is kind of the best. Well, not only that, but um, Sif's resistance is, is um, she has a lower resistance to water than she does dark. So, actually, water is the best in this, in this connect battle period. Um, if you were lucky enough to have Ipsum for her recent awakening, she is really great in this fight. Um, you can also use Nautica, as always, Sorticia, Silesia, if you have her, Paso, and of course the new Vindicator Apocalypse character that they came out with the same day as this fight. I'm not sure if I'm going to try for Apocalypse characters or not. I haven't had any luck with those periods so far. And I kind of want to stick to guarantees. So we'll see, we'll see how I'm feeling later. I don't usually do my pull videos until late in the evening. So, Alright, now I am just... I've run out of things, my little script thing to say, so now I'm just kind of waiting on this to end. From, I, um, from time to time running this this morning, sometimes my Kaguya would die, so I probably need to um, 
maybe look at her gear a little bit. And as always, infected Sif is 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 squishy, very squishy. So running her in front can kind of be dangerous sometimes. But it, it, it worked. It, it it's working out pretty good for me here. And, and sometimes I like it towards the end. I'll take it off auto and just finish it myself because I'm bored. Oh, Grace got a little bit low too. Alright, almost got her. Come on, one more good hit. There you go. Come on. There you go. There you go. There you go. All right, time to check out my uh, what the drops look like and damage. I got a whole bunch of tokens and chest, and here is the damage, making Kaguya MVP. So there you go, and have a good day.